Good morning, good afternoon. How are we folks at home, folks at home? Hey, welcome back to the Hush Life Vlog. But real quick before we jump into it, into all the shenanigans of this past week, check these shenanigans out. What is this? That's winter time in southeastern Idaho. I, I wanted guess. to tell you real quick before we jump into things is, guys, this today is December 14th. Does anybody know by show of hands what's happening here in like two weeks from now? I am two weeks. Oh, 10 days, 11 days, geez. Merry Christmas, okay? Listen, don't be that person, don't be me, don't be this guy to wait till the last second to get your loved ones, family, friends, some gifts, if that's what you do. Today, December 14th, is the last day you can put, a, put an order in and uh, have it get to you in time. So if you're looking at some hush gear for one of your family members, one of your friends, one of your loved ones, December 14th, you really need to get it in today to have that guarantee of getting it before Christmas. So all you last minute shoppers, you, you're not gonna get hush stuff. But if you're not procrastinating and you shop today, you will get it. Just a friendly reminder, let's jump into it. He's a, this guy doesn't do that. Procrastinator. Here, look at what I found for you. Those are worth well. Pre-made. As if there's probably not a bunch of those out No, there. those would be the only ones out in this country. People, people at home. People at home, people at home. Welcome back to the Hush Life Vlog. It's been a while since me and Logan have talked to you guys. We've been out and about uh, on adventures, creating content. And I just want to tell you real quick, the last couple adventures we've been on, uh, some of my fit most favorite, they're not done yet, but I think they're going to be some of my most favorite videos we've ever created. Um, we had Gage down in South Dakota hunting whitetails, and then we had my beautiful wife on her first ever hunt uh, for, for anything, but she had drawn a mule deer tag in Idaho. Anyway, those will come later, but we are on another adventure. We are with, with our good buddies. This is Sam and Sam. Hey, guys. hey Sams. Hi. Hi. Uh, we're with Weatherby Crew. You guys know Mac. You guys know Luke. Hey. Um, we're doing some things that we're not going to be able to show you everything today. But we're going to show some. But we're going to show some. But kind of. When this video comes out later on, uh, it's going to be pretty exciting because Weatherby's got some new, new can I say toys? You, new, can, you can say that. New toys they're coming out with, and that's why we're out here to test these new toys out. Anyway, we're about to shoot a target uh, at 223 yards, and we're going to shoot a couple different toys. And then uh, we're going to, we're hunting deer. We're hunting whitetail. We have a whitetail slash mule deer tag, either or tag, me and Luke do. Go to Luke. Get his thoughts. We're in Colorado also, so here's Luke. Check it out. He's got some thoughts. I have, I do have some thoughts. So Casey's about to shoot this new gun, uh, the new toy, excuse me. Um, he hasn't shot it yet. So before we shoot at a game animal, even though we've got it pretty well dialed, he needs to get comfy behind the trigger. So we might show shooting, but not the actual new thing that you can stay tuned for in January. Come in January. Yeah. So Casey's new toy is in six and a half RPM. So we're sending a RPM round. What are we at? 230? 230 yards. Let's see how uh, let's see how this goes. 230. There's a there looked like there was a new thing right below the bullseye. It's yeah. kind of hard to stay steady standing up. I think you're like literally. Hold on, let me do a picture. Picture's worth a thousand words. <laughs> I, wish, I wish we, I felt really good. It's, no, I don't care how good your like rest is, standing is a little tough, but um, yeah, I wish we could show you guys all these yeah, things. Yeah, that was money. That was money? Did you see two of them or just one? You missed the second. I closed my eyes, so I wanted to give it a fighting chance. <laughs> I know we are excited about what Weatherby's got coming out. Uh, I think you guys are going to be super stoked on what Weatherby's coming out. But like I said, we can't show anything right now. Suppressed rifles are so fun to shoot. But when this video comes out, um, obviously, we'll be able to show everything and talk about it. But just stay tuned. Right. 
So this is what we are searching for. Uh, we just yesterday our buddy Layden, who's from North American Whitetail, um, he had a Whitetail only tag, but we found this guy and he killed him, which is an awesome, awesome buck. But uh, me and Luke have either or tags, so we could find a Whitetail like this or a mule deer. I'm kind of holding out for a big mule deer. I think uh, Luke's kind of in the same boat, but we found one of these. Maybe it's a little bit longer. It'd be hard to pass up. This buck's awesome. Eastern Plains, Colorado. The nice thing about it out here is all these deer are have corn, wheat, like they have all the like important food sources. Not only like help them grow big and strong, but probably make their meat really tasty. So it'd be hard to pass up a uh, corn-fed whitetail like in the last couple days. But yeah, so that's what we're after. But uh, yeah, once again, the new Weatherby toys are uh, doing some things. Hey guys, welcome to my portion of the vlog. We've got a snowy, cold winter night here in Salt Lake. It's pretty nice out here. I told you guys over the last couple vlogs that we were doing the giving trees again this year with my buddy Jim and his family. So Jim and his wife Heidi are here in the shop. We did it last year at Jim's place, which was super fun because he's got a whole garage full of mounts. If you guys saw the video from last year, you probably remember this is his wife Heidi. She's a big bull slayer as well. They got quite the collection at their house, but they hadn't been to my shop, so we did it over here and they got to come check out the shop for the first time. But this is the program. So I'm gonna have Jim explain the giving tree a little bit to you guys. We just decorated these ones. We're kind of in the process of putting the little ornaments on there with cash. You can see they're kind of spread out on the floor. And they also came over prepared with gift cards to grocery stores, a Visa card, Amazon, a Walmart and Sam's, Sam's Club one? Yep. So this is kind of what we're doing with the Giving Tree this year. How many did we do last year? Do you remember? I think we ended up doing about 12 or so. Yeah, we've over doubled that. So we're shipping four kits up to Casey and Logan in Idaho. I've got seven here that are finished and decorated that I'm gonna take ownership with. These guys are doing 10. I've got Shed Crazy, Whitetail Fit, Chad Mendez, Mullet Man. They all offered to sponsor a tree, so we're shipping those out tomorrow yeah this is kind of the yeah i think we'll do a total, total of 30. yeah it's, which is how many you ordered so that worked out pretty perfect so the giving tree will be decorated with some cash um doesn't hurt to have some extra cash for the holiday season so those ornaments will be up here and then we're gonna top it with a star you gotta have the star this is the most important message of it all tis the season to be jolly i know it's hard when things go folly i hope i can create some magic and turn your holiday back to classic until the season you can pass me on, continue seeking the brighter dawn. Bringing hope to others is what I do. Please keep me going all the years through. And the hope is that when people get back on their feet, that they will uh, pay it forward and pass this tree on to somebody else. So hopefully 10 years from now, there's, who knows, Trees hundreds. Floating around. Floating all around. around, yeah. That's kind of one of the goals this year is we wanted to get some out of state. So let me just rattle off the top of my head. We've got Utah and Idaho for sure. Um, Joel is in Nebraska. I've got Chad Mendez in California. we got Shed Crazy who's in Southern Utah, so St. George area. Uh, Mullet Man is in Texas. So we're getting these things kind of spread out. And again, the hope, the hope is that they get re-gifted and it, they just kind of multiply and carry on forever. So we've got some nominations, thanks to you guys who emailed us. We got just enough families nominated in the, our local area. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna take ownership and deliver these ones. Jim and his family have some good ideas for the 10 that they're doing. These guys are gonna take charge on that and we're just here to help and, and spread awareness. So thanks, Jim. Thank you, Heidi, for letting me be a part of this. And it's fun. So what Christmas good. is all about. That's what life's Absolutely. all about. Right, Jim? 100%. <laughs> Giving. I love it. Yep. Fun project. We're not done yet. We're going to deliver these over the next week or so and get them out there. So thanks to you guys who nominated families. We really appreciate it. And yeah, let's go have some fun and spread some love. All right. It's a new day. Day two of building the Giving Trees. Very proud moment. I just finished seven of them. Only half of them have lights because I ran out of double A battery. So that's the next chore. I'm gonna put these all together, give you guys a good look at these things all said and done. Turned out awesome. I've got the uh, star topper tied on. 
That was one thing I learned doing this last year. All these ornaments that are hooked on by these little wires, I spin them around and fold them and make sure that they stay on because during travel and running up to a door and doorbell ditching them, uh, I had some fall off last year. <laughs> so I learned my lesson, tied those on really well, but I think the trees turned out awesome. After Jim and Heidi left, uh, they got back home, back to their family and they did a bunch last night. So they sent me a picture of those. They look beautiful. They lined them up for a photo. So I'm gonna do the same. I just need to go get some more AA batteries and then we're gonna take a photo of these puppies before I get out there on the roads and gift them to uh, whoever has been nominated. Okay, challenge for anybody who's watching this, because there are people who have asked how they can get involved. If you want, you can build your own giving tree. So go down to Home Depot, grocery stores, anywhere that sells these little kits. We got them on Amazon, but obviously it's probably gonna be a little too late if you're gonna order them. But we got these kits, um, we build them actually. So it's one thing, one, so one item is a tree, one item is a battery powered rope of lights, and then these little clear ornaments that break open, then obviously the gift cards and some cash. So if you want to do a giving tree, I'd challenge all of you guys to um, go buy a small tree, decorate it with whatever you think is fitting, gift cards and cash of any value, it doesn't matter what the tree value is, um, whatever you can put together with some friends and family and go gift it. That's a challenge. Hopefully one of you guys will run with it. Let there be light. We got them. Um, oh, they look good. I'm gonna clean this area up, line them up, turn off the lights. So uh, yeah, let's see what they look like with the lights off. There we go. Dang, they look good in this room. All lit up with just a little light from the ceiling so everything could pop. I think it's pretty sweet. All right, my next step is to sift through our Gmail, givingtree at uh, gethushin.com. That's where we had people nominate families who can use a uh, giving tree. So I'm gonna sift through those, contact some of the people who reached out, try to organize you know, a time where that person or family is home for sure, because we don't wanna leave a package valued like this sitting on the front porch with all these dang porch pirates around. So. I'm happy with how they turned out. Um, I think it's gonna be super fun delivering them. And we're gonna try to do that over the next week or so. And hopefully these giving trees can just shed some light on someone who needs it, even if it's a pick me up. Sometimes people are down, going through a you know tough time in life and just gifting something like this can really lift someone's spirit. So I'm super stoked to be a part of it. Again, Jim, hi to your family, thank you for letting me be a part of this. We are done here, besides the big mess I gotta clean up. I'm gonna turn the lights on and get that. Hey guys, just sitting here in my office editing this video right now, and before I close out my section of the vlog, sincerely just wanna say thank you from everybody here at Hush. Thanks to those who order merchandise on our website, who support our partners, who use our discount codes, or just simply follow us, and support us really in any way. Because of you, we're able to do stuff like, like the Giving Tree. I'm excited to go deliver some of these. I've got some houses close by to me that I can do tonight. And I've got some about an hour away. It's going to take me some time to get those delivered or arrange delivery. But again, it's not possible without your help. So thank you guys. I sincerely hope that somebody takes the lead and takes challenge um, on doing a Giving Tree yourself. So if you do, I would love to hear about it. Put it in the comments below. So, adios from uh, Salt Lake. See you guys on the next video. What do you think, bud? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? What's up, guys? Welcome to uh, my portion of this week's vlog. Good to see everybody again. It's Mr. Cruiser. He's getting, uh, he's starting to really get big. He's growing up, huh, buddy? He'll be growing up pretty good? Yeah. He's going to be uh, just about ready to turn seven months. So he's starting to kind of fill in, and uh, overall, man, he's been a fantastic puppy. I'm excited to get him out, like, doing some bird hunting next year. Not going to hunt him this year, just letting him kind of get acclimated and grow up, and uh, we'll start working on training a little bit more. Uh, but I'm visiting my folks, so up in the Idaho area, in my dad's garage, and I uh, wanted to show you guys a little teaser of these new hoodies that we are bringing to life. All right, so 
This is like our vintage kind of duck brown camo hoodie. And these are going to be available here pretty soon. Uh, Eric T's the green kind of tundra one that we uh, are also doing in association with it. But uh, overall, man, I think they turned out great. They're going to fit true to size. They uh, have, they're going to fit just like any of our other hoodies, but we added like a little bit of spandex in them just so they're a little bit more stretchy, a little more comfortable. And uh, overall, I love them. We just got like a pretty basic hush hit right here on the pocket. And then, yeah, these are just going to be uh, something that's kind of like an exclusive launch coming out really soon. If you want to find out about like when they become available, which I'm hoping is in the next month or two, you can join our VIP text group. Uh, either link in the description or just text hush VIP to the number 75987. Either way, that'll get you in. But here's the inspiration behind the hoodies. So this is, uh, this is my dad's old school Columbia Sportswear quad parka. Uh, as a kid, this is kind of like, man, this is the camo that we wore bird hunting in Eastern Oregon. And this was like the most technical hunting piece back in the day. So that's like your outer shell. And then this would have been, you know, the zip up kind of like insulation liner has like the shot shell, little pocket holders there. And so, yeah, that, that's the inspiration behind it. The Tundra Camo one is like another kind of offshoot of like an old school style. So all of them were just derived from like what maybe our grandpas wore or our dads wore when we were younger and growing up. And it's kind of fun that they finally coming to fruition. These took a while to kind of figure out. The fabric is uh, something like getting like, the right colors and things like that. It really took some time, but we're excited about them. So those will be available here very shortly. And uh, if you're on the VIP text list, that's where the first announcement will be made. And then uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy them. But uh, in other news, we're going to be trying to do some bird hunting while I'm out here over kind of like the holiday break. So I'm looking forward to try to go out and do some duck hunting, some goose hunting, chase some pheasants, and always love being in my dad's garage. Here's a cool like uh, old school shotgun shell box. Look at that. Awesome like packaging. These are old federal shot shell. These have like the actual paper casings and stuff in them as well so just uh really neat though i love i actually love that design here's kind of like an idea of what i'm talking about but these are like paper casings here some old school these are 20 gauge um that my dad's using but gonna be trying to chase some different bird species definitely something i did a lot as a kid growing up and uh the last several years i haven't done it as much really miss it i went out with my buddy preston and shot a few ducks around Salt Lake, which was super cool. And then, yeah, over the next, I don't know, two months or so, I'm really hoping to get out uh, at least like four or five more times, do some bird hunting. So uh, that's kind of what I got going on in my neck of the woods. This guy's ready to go for a walk, huh? Should we go out and go get us take a stroll? We hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday. Stay tuned for the teaser for Sunday's video. And we're going to go take a stroll, huh, Cruz? Should we go take a stroll? What do you think? Huh? Let me go take a stroll. Deer tag in my pocket. Rifle in the truck. It's me and it's you if you so decide to come. But we got a rifle, we got a deer tag, we got a knife, we got some game bags. We have a little bit of knowledge of this area. It's our hometown. And you guys, we're deer hunting. We are rifle deer hunting. If I haven't made that clear, I've been a jumbled mess this morning. I know, I apologize. Uh, I typically am riding in that seat of someone else's truck taking video, so bear with me. Uh, I believe we have everything we need. Sunrise isn't for another hour and 50 something minutes. About a 40 minute drive to where we're going. Let's go figure this out.
Yes! We just killed the buck.